It says, Brutiful. Brutiful morning. Brutiful morning. Love it. It's so stinking cute. Mm. Anyways. I don't understand how some people function like without coffee. That's so good. Oh y'all, I'm so excited. Fall is around the corner. I mean, summer is one of my favorite time of the months. I like laying out at the pool, like laying out, like soaking up some vitamin D, but I'm getting kind of tired of the sun and I'm enjoy I can't wait to have pumpkin everything. Pumpkin coffee, pumpkin pie, pumpkin creamer, which they're selling in stores now, so I put some pumpkin creamer in my coffee. Just love it. I'm even starting to get back into my fall colors. I love pumpkin candle. Any fall candle. Fall candles are like the best. Do y'all agree? Oh my gosh. What's y'all's favorite candle? Oh my god, my favorite is the marshmallow fireside. It's marshmallow fireside. I'm gonna have to stock up on it this year because I ran out of it way too fast last year. Hey y'all, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I'm so excited. I went out to my mailbox today and my Foxy Charm came in the mail. But it got a little dented and kind of wet. It's been raining here all week where I live. So, for those who don't know, Foxy Charm is $21 a month. You get uh, usually about five full size products. Sometimes you get a bonus uh, sample size, but usually they're like a deluxe size sample. So, I'm not mad at that. Pretty excited. It's actually my favorite box of all my subscriptions. I'm subscribed to BoxyCharm and Ipsy. But with BoxyCharm and Ipsy, you really can't compare the two because Ipsy is $10 and BoxyCharm is $21. With that being said, you get more full-size products with BoxyCharm versus Ipsy. So, so excited. So, this is what the box looks like. It, they changed up the logo a little bit. I like it. I saw this on Instagram. And, um... Now the box is more like of a matte feel versus the one before. It was kind of more glossy. Did y'all notice the change? Okay, let's get into it. I got my scissors. Hope nothing got damaged. My box is all bent up. But uh, they're pretty good about exchanging things, like if it comes broken. I've had that happen to me twice, and I've been subscribed to them for over a year now. And they were pretty good about um, swapping it out for a new one. Uh, they did that and then the other time they gave me like charm points is uh, what you use in the store I was able to get something else so they're pretty good about honoring that oh this is cute they got a bunch of emojis excuse my nails I didn't get a chance to paint today I was too excited to film this video I just kind of forgot the forgot that step <laughs> okay so you get a card and it says express yourself so you get, uh, they have a Snapchat. If you follow them on Snapchat, they have um, previews about the products that are going to be in their boxes, so you get like a sneak peek. So I'm kind of guilty of looking at it already. Um, but the difference is with uh, BoxyCharm versus Ipsy, you on your card it has the items and the prices. But I don't really want to look at it right now because I like a little surprise. Ooh, first, okay, this one caught my eye. This polka dot. So cute. Okay. This is the Dirty Little Secret. I don't have no idea what this is. Phantom. I guess that's the shade of this is a Phantom. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, it's a matte liquid lipstick. Go see. This is really cute. It's got polka dots on it. I love the packaging. Let's do a swatch. Oh my gosh, this is like fire hydrant red. I hope it's not that red. Oh, okay. I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of that, like, rockabilly red. Look at that. I like it. I wonder how long it's going to take to dry. We'll see. I'll leave it on. We got Max Lash Volumizer Mascara by Dolce. Is that how you pronounce it? It's D-O-U-C-C-E. I'm not the best at pronouncing things. Ooh, so we got a, a mascara. Like this thing is like really thick. They want to open it or not. I don't like opening things. I'm ready to use. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. We'll go ahead and open it up. See what the one looks like. Oh my gosh, I think it's huge. If you haven't seen that. Look at that. It's really uh 
The bristles are really fat. They kind of remind me of the um, Better Than Sex mascara, except it doesn't do that curve. It's more straight, but it's um, really big like that. What is this? Ooh, we got a skincare uh, time repair serum. It's by Aloe Pure Skincare. Wow, that thing's big. Ooh, this looks nice. I love getting skincare products. I've gotten some skincare products from them before in the past boxes, and I just loved them so much. I remember, I go and buy the full size products all the time. So it's not like boxy charms. I get things I know I'm probably gonna like. I'm gonna smell it. Well, any day now, I guess it's gonna come out. Why aren't you working? Oh. Okay, that was kind of weird. See, it's kind of like a milky consensus consistency. Ooh, it's thin. I like it. What does that smell remind me of? It smells like a soap, kind of. It's not bad, though. I like it. I don't know. I smelled this smell before, but I can't remember where. It'll come to me later. That's how that works. Next, we got a shadow stick. This is about the brand Beauty For Real. We've gotten uh, Beauty For Real products before in past boxes. Ooh, it looks like that. It has a color at the end of the stick. You can see that better. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be bronzy. We'll see. What is the shade this is? I don't see the shade color on here. Oh, it's at the top. Okay. All Day Latte. Ooh, it's got like a pointed tip at the end. Let me just watch. We'll do it here, away from the serum. Oh, I like that. It's kind of... See, there's light. Yeah, that's, that's much better lighting. Yeah, it's definitely brown. It's got a, a fairy hint of like a purple, fairy, fairy hint. A brownish purple color. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm afraid you're not going to be able to get a really accurate. Here we go. Yep, that's better. And it's slightly like metallic y too. I like it. I'm definitely going to use that soon. And I like how big this packaging is. Usually shadow sticks are like skinny. This last, but starting to lace is actually the biggest product in here. It's those box down here. Ooh, it's the Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette and Brush Combo from Coastal Scents. I like Coastal Scents. It's actually one of my favorite affordable brands. Coastal Scents is the ones that have those eyeshadow palettes come out, and they all, like, resemble the, um, it's called Urban Decay uh, Naked Palettes. They have the, the Naked 1, 2, and 3 and Smoky Palette. Well, Coastal Scents also has a 1, 2, and 3 and a Smoky one, but it's not called Naked. It's really just was the refill palette. That's what it's called. So it looks like this. Let's open it up. Ooh, where's the brush? It says something about a brush on here. Oh, it's at the bottom of the box. Oopsies. Stuck. Oh, okay. Well, for reference, that matte lipstick does not dry fast because when I put my hand in the box. It got smeared, so that didn't stay on very long. Let's see, get a mini brush. It's not bad. I mean, it's soft. It's not the softest brush I've ever had. There's a little fuzz on it, too. This is actually really nice. It's uh, kind of tapered up that way. It's kind of like that Real Techniques contour brush that like tapers up at an angle. Okay, well back to the palette. Let me put this here for a moment. It comes with a little slip. Okay, so it looks like you got a blush, a bronzer that's matte, and you got a 
shimmery bronzer and a shimmery blush too and like a highlight in the middle so these two are the matte ones and then these two are the shimmery ones and then this is like the highlighter one they don't have names that's one thing i've noticed about coastal scent products like even with the eyeshadow palette they don't have names they just have the colors in there and it doesn't come with a mirror okay let me see i'm gonna swatch on my clean hands if i still got this i'm gonna do the matte blush first oh my goodness yeah there you go it's more accurate I mean, it's a little chalky. It wasn't a real smooth. That's just a finger swatch. But it was really pigmented on my finger, so it probably wouldn't take much just to dab your brush on there and work it. Let's do another finger. Let's do the matte bronzer. Actually, I like this one. It's kind of hard to tell. I put it right here. It's more cool toned, which I, I like the cool tone ones for contouring. Let's do the shimmery bronzer. There it goes. Yeah, this one is right there. You can see it. There's the shimmer. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's the same color as the matte one, just shimmery, really. It's not like a color difference. Let's do the shimmery blush. Oh, yeah. See there? I guess we'll put it on the, this side. Okay. So I put the shimmery one right here. There we go. Okay, the last one. Let's do the highlight one. I don't have any clean fingers. Let's do the thumb. Ooh. Let's do that. I don't know how I feel about that yet. That one's not much of a highlight. It's just kind of a powder. So you can't even really see it. I guess you can use it to set your makeup, but I wouldn't really use it as a highlight and it's not that shimmery compared to the blushes I don't know I'm gonna have to play with it and give it a try so that's this I mean it's a pretty blush color but I think it'll be too dark for my liking I like them a little lighter I guess and maybe a little too pinky but yeah that's everything I got in my boxy charm this is pretty cool I really like this while like box charm look this is full size this is full size Full size. I'm not sure if this is full size. Well, it's one fluid ounce, so this is typically a full size for a serum. And then you got a palette and a brush. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I like that I got a blush and bronzer palette, but I'm not too crazy about the blush color. I do like the matte bronzer, so I think I'm probably going to use that one the most. Haven't had a chance to use the mascara yet, so I'm going to have to give that a try. And this is a pretty color, but I don't think it's going to last very long on my hand. Let's see if it's dry now. Okay, now that it's dry, it's not budging. So I wanted to give this a try, but it, it takes a little longer than typical for a liquid lipstick to dry. And I really like the eyeshadow stick. I think this one is going to be my favorite. I'm going to give this a try. I'm probably going to like this. Because I like any, getting kind of skincare stuff in the mail. So, but uh, right off the bat, the one that impressed me the most was the eyeshadow stick. But the other ones I'm gonna have to give a try. And if I really like them, they really impressed me. I'll have to use it and probably put it in like a favorites video. I'm thinking about doing a favorites video. Do y'all think I should do that? If so, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll have to do that. But with BoxyCharm, you're only paying twenty-one dollars a month. So for like a price reference, it says on the card that. The palette is $13.95 and the brush is $6. This mascara is $22 and the liquid lipstick is $10. And then you got the Beauty For Real shadow stick and that one is $19. The face serum is, holy, oh my gosh. Y'all, the face serum is $48. Alette Time Repair. Okay, y'all, this Olet Time Repair Serum is $48. Holy crap. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm excited. I really hope this is like a miracle worker because, I mean, if it does what it claims to do, it's a powerful anti-aging skincare complex fortified with 
alpha and beta hydroxy acids to smooth away dead skin cells and powerful antioxidants to protect skin from damaging free radicals. So, if this claims what it's supposed to do, then I don't know. I guess 48 is not bad. But we're going to find out if it's really worth $48, in my opinion. I'm really picky about, I'm really picky about skincare. So, let's do a total. Let's add up everything I got. Okay, so for BoxyCharm, you pay $21 a month. For, for the retail price of everything you get in the box, it's $118.95. Oh my gosh. But for $118.95 and you're only paying $21, BoxyCharm is a steal. It's a, oh my god. I don't know how they make money, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> This is why BoxyCharm is my favorite subscription out of all of the subscriptions I've ever tried. And I've even tried Birchbox, which I'm not even, I'm not saying anything bad about Birchbox. If you love it, keep it. I ended up canceling mine because I, I did get a few things in there that I liked, and most of, but the other stuff I really didn't use it that much. And then the one part that I did get that I really liked was this face moisturizer. I went to go buy the full size product and it was like 80 almost $90. And I was like, whew. Oh, no, no, no. So, I'm going to cancel it. I like getting more full-size products. Granted, it was, it was $10, just like Ipsy, but Ipsy was still, I was getting more out of Ipsy than I was getting out of that one. But I did get a couple of eyeliners in there I really liked, though. So, if you found this video useful or entertaining, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Got some on my lip. Ah! I'm gonna cut myself. The box is all soft now from all this rain. Okay. Mm. I get I get so tongue twisted. The box has a, comes with a bunch of these in it.